yeah, we're gonna talk about players leaving again. Uh, we have a big squad, and uh, some of the players can't uh, be promised they're uh, getting their playtime they deserve. And uh, Tomislav Bikanik is somebody that we took a chance on. Uh, he was on loan last season, and he's a good player, definitely. But uh, the competition on the left wing is too hard, and when we got an offer of 52 million. We gotta take it. So I wish him all the best. And um, yeah, like we always say, that's football. And sadly, we also have to say say goodbye to one of the original players, Ander Bustos, who have been with us since the start. And done 85 games in four seasons and been really good when he get the chance. I mean, he never disappoint me uh, when he get the chance to play, but um, if you look at the squad now, we can't give him the play time he needs and he's getting old and we want to give him the chance to play football before it's too late. So uh, sadly, Ander will leave us, but uh, thank you for these four years and we will miss you. and. Good luck with the future. Hello, a warm welcome. This is the scene here at the Estadio de Vallecas, our venue today. I'm Derek Ray, in position to bring you live match commentary, and my expert analyst, as always on these occasions, is Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. What do you anticipate seeing, Stuart? Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Away game against Rayo Vallecano, uh, a team who on the bottom half of the league, you could say. So I definitely are um, aiming for three points in this game. Or I would say this is a game we should win if we want to compete about the European spots. So yeah, a win is a must. That's what we have said to our players. And uh, yeah, I'm interesting to see if Alan Velasco continues to be so good as he's been in the starting game for us since we bought him from Celta Vigo. Um, will be interesting to see what he do this game. It's with Lopez. Danger here as he runs at them. The inside route looking promising and throwing himself up the ball. Must take the lead here. Oh, he's been denied and they remain locked together. Well, that's a good save, but really he should have scored from there. That's a big chance. threatening and he's in can they keep it out oh a vital interception delivered into the box oh and off the post behind for a goal kick well he's so unlucky there he seemed to do everything right it was so close Exciting La Liga action coming up for you here on EA TV. It's Rayo Vallecano and they'll be facing Mallorca. And pushed away to safety. Now the teams are locked together. Will it stay that way? Following the score. And the flag went up. This is very rare indeed. Three substitutes coming on at the same time. Well, it was a close 
close call, but the fans are not happy with that decision. Still pushing for the goal that was put them ahead, but not forcing it. of the goalkeeper. He's going forward well here. A glorious chance. And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease. And it's just a change of pace. But there's still plenty for him to do. Under all sorts of pressure from the defender, he's just able to keep him at bay and finishes with a plot. It's a great goal. Five minutes left. Oh, a lovely incisive pass. Just needs to stay calm. Just look at the defending here. Well made it so easy for him in the end. That's just not good enough. Oh, body in the way, crucially. And so the final whistle here. The visitors come out on top, Stuart. Well, Derek, it was a very assured performance, wasn't it? Particularly impressed with their play going forward. Really lively and almost cutting through at will at times. The result never much in doubt, if I'm honest. Well, he often cuts the figure of a thinking person's footballer. And Stuart, he's thought his way throughout this match. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for? We were aiming for three points and we got three points after a really good game from us. Uh, uh, well, kind of tried, but they couldn't stop our, uh, especially our offensive players. And uh, like Alan Velasco, we talk about him a lot now, <laughs> a day since we bought him, but one goal and one assist. Uh, he's really found his spot in this team and it looks like he's uh, enjoying his stay here with us. Um, but you also have to talk about Felipe Guerrero. What a talent on the midfield. Uh, he had also a really good game. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this away win. And I'm looking for continuing this. We are in a high position in the league. So let's keep us up there fighting for European spots.
a joy to be talking to you from Palma. We're here at the Visit Mallorca Estadi. I'm Derek Ray and with me here on the commentary box is Stuart Robson. An action coming up from the Spanish top division La Liga. Stuart, what are your expectations for today? Well, thanks Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. So, we are on Palma de Mallorca for a game against Mallorca, a team who is in the middle of the league, so not bad, but not so good either. So it's definitely a game uh, we want to have uh, three points from uh, going home. And yeah, we will continue playing our best starting eleven this game. Uh, the guys need a lot of games, so... Uh, and they're playing, playing good, uh, especially our midfield and our three attacking trio has been really good this game so yeah let's do it one more time excellent use of the ball as they make their way forward Well, as we look at the table, the visitors have been dazzling us with their attractive brand of football, playing to their potential and then some, Stuart. Well, Derek, I didn't expect them to be in a Champions League spot at this point. Well, they might score here, Stuart, flinging himself at it, the keeper. Can they get in behind them? Space and time for the cross. Can he put them in front? And it was a wonderful chance, but the goalkeeper comes through. Yes, Derek, we have to give credit to the keeper, but surely he should have scored there. That's a big, big chance. And a no-nonsense clearance. Getting the better of his opponent. Every goalkeeper would expect to catch that. Tackling and putting the ball to boot. Oh, a perfectly timed pass. Who's going to get on the end of it? Oh, terrific save from the keeper. Well, that's just a wonderful save. How did he stop that? In the centre. And he comes in from the wing. And no way through. Oh, it's a penalty in the opinion of the referee. And maybe they'll be able to level this up. Well, there might have been a case for a yellow card, but the referee didn't see it that way. Well, Derek, it's a foul, yes. A penalty, absolutely. But for me, it's not a yellow card. The ref has got that right. An opportunity to level matters. And the spot kick is converted as calmly as you like. Again, and he makes it look so easy. He sends the keeper one way before striking it into the opposite side. That's an excellent finish.
get past his man. And a goal here! Well, it took a definite nick, and nothing the keeper can do about it whatsoever. Time for the change now. the final 10 minutes in this one on the ball in an attacking position but they've got to do something positive quickly rifled against the post but back in play and missed time to run sadly that's offside can they fashion something they need a goal Adrian Marine and Stevens. They've won back possession. Tension building still level. And that is that. The final score here, and it ends in a draw. What do you think the visitors will feel about what they put into the game? Well, Derek, I think you have to say it's a point game, don't you? Far from the easiest game, but they kept fighting until the very end, believing that they would get another chance, and it's probably the fair result in the end. Well, we're focusing on him for a reason. Played with real authority and attack, Stuart. Well, he should be on the winning side after that performance, because he was outstanding, especially in front of goal. But his team defended so poorly today. Well, not the result we wanted. Uh, we wanted three points from this game, but hey, you gotta get credit to Mallorca. They really gave us a hard time this game. Uh, there was were no pushover, definitely not. So, uh, if you look at the game, how it went, so I'm actually happy that we at least get one point. I mean, <laughs> We got 2-2 two, two in the 89 minute by Velasco. I mean, we we're so close to losing the game even. So uh, you gotta be happy uh, that we could um, come back on this game, at least take a one point with us. Um, yeah, uh, and that shows how much uh, this team has evolved. I mean, they played to the last minute. They don't give up. And that is something I love with this team. Guess I'll